Hello, it's Sarah. So after a little bit of a frustrating morning with Tinkerbell, because you'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm going to film tomorrow morning. I have the other, the third layer of the mermaid, and I'm going to do another layer on Tinkerbell, because I can't wait for you to see what happened with that. But I did another pour tonight. I went to AC Moore. I've been watching videos, and I saw... Um, some excellent ones by um, I think her name is Miss Trinity one four three something like that three numbers hold on Miss Trinity one four three and she had several videos that were very helpful um, one of them was just a uh, tenth let's see well she did a doming one which was awesome she takes your way through it ten fun resin tips and uh, the other one was, come on, Resin Help. And that was very, very good because she walks you through the process. And that's what I need. I told you guys, sometimes I need to see it as well as um, read it or hear it. So I'm um, just going to show you. These seem to be, oh, I was talking, I got soap molds. These I got it. Um, AC more tonight and I think they were like $2.99 for like four molds um, a square a octagon is this octus hexagon a circle and like an uh, rectangle um, so I figured I'd try it and she just puts them in the freezer to get the um, resin out of the mold so I'm gonna try it I love the shapes of them and the size it gives you a little more room to play but they're not too big <laughs> Because I think I probably went big too soon. Um, I just get so inspired. Anyway, so I'm going to show you what I did tonight. I have these really cool stickers. Um, these Cheers ones. Um, and it's 5 o'clock some, sometime. I told you. Um, I got these uh, the other day. or on my haul video. So I did four of those. And I think they're going to turn out super cute. Like, my lighting is bad in here because I'm in my dining room because the basement's too cold. This one I put wild and crazy, and it has beers and stuff, like just different things. And I don't even drink, but I thought they were cute, a little more grown up. Um, and then I'm going to move these out of the way. But I did Tinkerbell again. Oops, it's a little sticky. And because I had so much trouble with that sticker... But she is staying down in here just fine. I don't know if it's because I um, try to stop that glare. But she, it's the same type of sticker. I just did her upside down, though, and pushed her toward the front of the mold. So I'm not sure if that's what it has to do with. But if that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do. I'll do them upside down or, yeah, upside down. <laughs> Um, so I'm really hopeful that that's going to turn out okay. I did this one. It's Cinderella, and it's the same type of sticker. So I'm really hoping I have success with this one, too. She's upside down, you know. Um, where is she? I wanted to show. I think I showed this, too, on my um, haul video. But I have all the princesses here. So I have to use the little bit bigger. Um, I think it's a coaster, a square coaster mold. <laughs> Um, and I mean, um, she's in there, she's stuck down and I'm going to wait. Miss Trinity, um, says that you can, I think her name is Estella. It's Spanish and I don't pronounce it right, but, um, she said that you can sprinkle glitter like around two and a half hours after you've poured it, you can sprinkle glitter on and like little bits and pieces and it'll, it will sink down. Mm, maybe I shouldn't do it. I'm not sure. I think I might try it on a couple of them because she did stripes on one. This is just my Nemo one, but everything's staying where I want to. The bubbles are um, under control, so I'm really happy. I think um, I have to try a few more smaller ones before I go big. Um, you know, I'm going to finish my tiles. I think they're going to be all right. I mean... Wait until you see Tinkerbell. I'm bringing it over. I'm going to bring over Tinkerbell and show you what happened. I'm, I'm like kind of, I was very discouraged. Um, and I just, my husband saw it and he's like, just put another layer on top. It'll be fine. So I'm trying not to panic. I'm going to hold my hand in that glare. But if you look, and I mean, I don't know if the camera is picking it up. 
the curled up parts I couldn't get to go down. So her hair is, I mean, they're sticking out of the resin. Like the flower up here, it's sticking out. Um, the, this wing right here, the bottom of her wing, it's sticking up out of the resin. Like they curled up that bad. Her little butt. So, I mean, it either looks very 3D. Like, let me see if I can hold it up and, and show you what I mean. Um, no, not really. You can't really see it. I, like, I don't, I don't want to muck about anymore. I don't want to ruin it anymore. Oh my gosh, but I think she's beautiful. I love the colors and everything, but my husband just said, just pour another layer of resin and you it'll blend in and you won't even see. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, I'm watching Liam and when he's taking a nap, I'll come in and I'll pour the last, my, um, my mermaid is holding up fine. So I'm going to, I may as well grab her too. And I mean, this one, this layer is awesome. I mean, it nothing sunk, nothing did anything. Everything stayed right where I put it. So, um, yeah, I mean, you can kind of see that. It's just so weird what happened to the background. So I don't know um, what to do. Um, but I'm going to play with these a little more. I might just... I think I want to sprinkle some with glitter. I'm a little unsure if I should do it just a little because that they could stay clear and then just put a background on them. See how I'm unsure? I don't know what to do. Um, all right, you guys. Well, I'm still enjoying it. I'm not going to get discouraged because uh, Tinkerbell bent on me. Um, and thanks for watching my videos and all your comments. I really appreciate it. All right, bye-bye.